good afternoon, Waypoint. I almost said morning, but that's not right. Two o'clock on a Thursday. Yes, it's Thursday. And super excited to work out with you guys today. We have an awesome, like, hard and fast burner type workout, and I'm super psyched about that. So uh, you will need a kettlebell today if you have one. If you don't have one, if you have a dumbbell, that's cool too. You'll just need one. And I will demo the movements with both a kettlebell and a dumbbell. So whatever you have today is totally fine. That is um, workable. Have some water and um, yeah, so we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna have a good workout today. It's gonna be, it's a beautiful day. So if you're outside, I think that's fantastic. <laughs> The last time I tried to film outside, like everything went sideways. So I'm like total phobic about filming outside now, but I encourage you to be outside if you can, because it's like a really beautiful day right now. So, uh, and part of this uh, workout includes a 200 meter run. And so, um, or basically like a minute of cardio. So if you have, um, if you're outside, hi Angie. Um, so if you're outside, awesome, great place to do 200 meter run. So again, dumbbell or kettlebell, kettlebell is ideal, but, uh, I will demo the movements with both apparatuses, a rapid, a, yeah, whatever the word is. So let me grab the workout and we'll go over that. I didn't print it off fancy and backwards today, but y'all will live, so haha. <laughs> it's not super complicated. There's not a lot of like timing components where I have to like yell things out at you guys. So um, grab a whiteboard if you have a whiteboard or if you already printed out the workout, cool. Um, because we may not end up on the same cycle of time during the workout and that's fine because it's gonna be five rounds for time, so you may be moving like super fast and burning through it, and I might be slugging along or whatever, <laughs> whatever the case may be. So the warm up is gonna be two rounds. We're gonna do 30 seconds of high knees, 30 seconds of butt kickers, then we're gonna do 10 of the glute bridge ups, and um, 10 sumo deadlifts, and 10 high pulls, so from the upright position. So again, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 10, 10, 10. We're gonna do that two times through, two. And then the workout today is five rounds per time. There is an 18 minute time cap, but I suspect people will probably done, be done pretty quickly before then. So I think it's a fairly generous time cap, but we'll see. So it's five rounds. The movements are 10 kettlebell sumo deadlift high pulls, 10 kettlebell swings, uh, Russian um, or, and again, I'll kind of maybe go through this when I demo, but if you have a really lightweight, you might wanna go American, go full up. So um, whatever you're feeling today. Uh, 20 sit-ups and a 200 meter run or basically a minute of cardio. I probably will not run in my living room. Um, so maybe jog in place or something like that, but um, run, bike, row, jump rope, burpees, box jumps, like cardio, move your body. So um, break a sweat. And you're gonna cycle through that as fast as you can. We're gonna do five rounds um, and then we're gonna be done. So it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be great. So that is the workout. So let's get in it, shall we? So we're gonna start with our 30 seconds of high knees. And let me doo -doo -doo, have like the watch timer. All right, let's go. 30 seconds of high knees. Just get those knees up nice and tall. If you're here today, that's cool too. Or if you're here, or if you're all the way up there, whatever works. Just move in some sort of way. So we're gonna go from this and then we're gonna move into butt kickers in 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and butt kickers. I always like these. I always feel like it like stretches out the quads and stuff. Harkens back to like high school athletic days. I think I just used the word Harkins, didn't I? <laughs> All right, five more seconds. Then we're gonna do some glute bridges. All right, so we're gonna do 10 glute bridges. So we're on our backs. Yeah, you guys can see me. And we're nice, just black feet up, close to your bum. And we're pushing, extending fully hips at the top. And then we're back down. Pause for a second up at the top. So we're doing 10 of these. Squeeze your booty. Really get that nice tightness going. A 
couple more. This is one of those like really good isolating exercises. All right, and then we're gonna do 10 of the sumo deadlifts. So our feet are nice and wide outside. The kettle is on the ground. If you have a dumbbell, you'll want it like that. You can guys see that. So it'll be here if you have a dumbbell. So 10 of those. Keep that chest nice and tall. Squeeze your booty at the top. And one more. And then we're doing the high pull. So from this position, so it's just really an upright pull. So we're here. And then we're there, okay? 10 of these. There's no swing. There's no hips. Just a pull. Elbows go nice and high and outside. Don't smack yourself in the face if your weight is light. That'd be no good. And you will probably notice that those two movements together will be our high pulls. All right, let's get back in it. 30 more seconds of high knees. I have my awesome new tank. I don't know about you guys, I'm super excited. Let me get it closer. Keep going. All right. Hi, Kathy, bye, Kathy. Keep going. It's like people type it, I'm like tiny screen. All right, 10 more seconds. Then we'll go back to those butt kickers. All right, and butt kickers. 30 more seconds of these. Had to go in my drawers and find my shorts. Getting to be shorts weather. Loving it. Not five more seconds. We'll move back into those glute bridges. All right. Back to those glute bridges. Again, really think about squeezing up at the top of that movement. Nice controlled movement. more. I think that's 10. If I get all quiet when I have to count reps, I'm like, oh shoot, what am I on? Okay, 10 of those deadlifts. Nice wide feet. Keep your chest nice and tall. Fight the urge to round your back when you go down or up, okay? Keep that chest nice and proud. And we're doing those high pulls. A few more. Anytime you take away momentum, makes the movement so much harder and so much better for you. Or it works differently, I suppose. Okay, that is the warm up. So the workout again, it's five rounds, 10 sumo deadlift high pulls, 15 kettlebell swings, 20 sit-ups, and a 200 meter run or one minute of cardio, which is probably what I will be doing. So quickly, let's go over those movements. So the sumo deadlift high pull is essentially the warm up two components put together. So. We're here in that nice wide stance, kettlebells in front of us, keeping us chest nice and tall, pop up, and here we go. Again, if you have a light dumbbell, be careful not to smack yourself in the chin. <laughs> it's 
speaking from experience, does not feel good. So those are your sumo deadlift high pulls. Again, really think about keeping that chest nice and tall. When I think of when I coach the kids class, what I tell them is make sure I can see your logo on your shirt. So that keeps, you know, so really think about making sure that if I was watching you, I could see your awesome Waypoint logo or whatever you're wearing today. So that is the sumo deadlift high pulls. So we're doing 10 of those. And then the kettlebell swing, really just think about what I want you to remember on this is um, the momentum comes from your hips. So we're here, pop those hips, okay? Your arms really are just hanging on, which I get at some point, your arms are gonna get tired and your grip may fail. So before that happens, take a pause and regrip. No broken windows today. So that is the kettlebell swing. Sit-ups are just sit-ups. Whatever fashion you wanna do a sit-up in is fine. And then again, uh, basically a minute of cardio. I'm just gonna time a minute on my watch and then just keep cycling through. So if it takes you less than a minute to run 200 meters, then just keep going. So that's the workout. So I think that's it. Oh yeah, so for the, if you have a dumbbell, if you don't have a kettlebell, again, that's fine. So we're here, I'm like trying to see where you can like see me the best. So keep the, the dumbbell with its head that way. Still try to make sure you have the same movement, okay? Same range of motion, chest high, elbows up, and then just keep a nice good grip on it. If you have a really light dumbbell, and you're not feeling like you're like, whoa, this is really lame, just to go to Russian, go all the way up, okay? For American kettlebell swings. A little extra oomph if you're working with a light weight. So, five rounds of time. 10, 15, 20, 200, boom, five times. That's it. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna grab some water and we're gonna do this. It's gonna be great. And I will pause for a minute between each round and I'm gonna mark like a little mark so I know how many rounds we've done, otherwise I get lost. So, well, that is it. All right, everybody ready? Let's do this, okay. 10 sumo deadlift high pulls, 15 kettlebell swings, 20 sit-ups, 200 meter run. All right, let's go. One, two, three, let's go. And then you can just go right into your kettlebell swings. 15 of these. It's warm in my living room. you're at. We're all going to finish at different times. And it's 20 sit-ups when you get to that. All the way back with these. You can have legs out. You can have your legs in a butterfly. Whatever works. Once you're done with that, do your 200 meter run. I'm gonna do a minute of cardio. Jump rope is a great option if you have a jump rope. I'm doing burpees for some bizarre reason. do something different next round. Nice to have variety.
All right, that's a minute for me. Whew. Take a second if you need, then get back in it. Oh yeah, that's one. Keeping track of my rounds. When you're ready, back to those high pulls. Take it out as you need. My hands get sweaty. I don't really want to use chalk in my living room though. That'd be a bit dirty. grinding away at it. Find a pace you can maintain without having to take long breaks. Keep at it. All right. I'm not gonna do burpees again this round. I'll go with high knees. So get out there and get your run in or whatever. Again, if you're sticking with it in this room, you need a room, minute of cardio. Just let me get your heart rate going, okay? Keep at it. Woo! Sweating in a good way. And then get back in it. Lost my brain for a second there. Grinding away, you guys, you're doing great. Sit up, so good time to catch your breath a little bit. The heart rate back down.
Gonna jump doing jacks for my cardio this time. Keep it up, you guys. Don't quit now. Keep going. Check my time. <laughs> Keep going. Make sure you breathe. Okay, if you're with me, you got 10 more seconds of cardio. I need a better fabric to wipe off on here. <laughs> Lycra doesn't really do it. That's okay. Round four sit ups for me. Keep it up, and you got this. Whoo! All right. I'm gonna do mountain climbers for my cardio this round. I feel like one of those things that are always hard, just like burpees. I don't know why. the longest minute. Have one more round. Get into your movement. We got this.
We got this, you guys. We got this. Use those hips. Last round. Once you put it down, you don't have to pick it back up again. Isn't that lovely? Keep it up. I'm gonna do butt kickers this time for my cardio. I'm gonna pick up my pace a little bit though. It's the last movement. Give it all you got, okay? Then we're done. This is it. Finish strong. I got 30 more seconds, butt kickers. Well, any seconds left if you're doing cardio with me. tired for a minute. If you're already done, awesome. Congratulations. I'm proud of you guys. That was hard work, but we got it in, we got it done. And now we can be done for the day. Or if you want to be super badass, jump on, do a go workout, whatever, go for a run. It's a beautiful afternoon, wear sunscreen. So I hope you guys have a great day and um, join me tomorrow. I'll be live at 9 doing the go workout. If you haven't done them yet, they're amazing. So go to the Facebook page to find the event invite. That has the link in it to the go work to the uh, Zoom meeting tomorrow morning. So hopefully I will see you guys here tomorrow morning at 9. All right, guys. Have a great day. Thanks for working out with me. We'll see you guys next week. All right. By next week, I mean tomorrow.